This StarCast show, just like all of our StarCast shows, are available at adfreeshows.com. So, Rob, um, obviously an amazing feud. You guys had amazing chemistry in the ring. Talk about your first meeting with Rob and first impressions of him before we bring him out. Um, I'm going to be fully honest with you because I know Rob's, I've heard him bring up this story in interviews and stuff. It was, it was on the plane. We just happened to be on the same flight, and, I'd, excuse me, and I've never met him before. And I, I'm sitting up closer to the front, and I see him get on, and, go, and I said hi as he's walking by, and he goes to the back, and I thought, well, I don't want to be just rude, and the plane was half empty. I said, I'll just go back and get to know him a little bit. Well, I didn't realize before he got on the plane, he'd taken some Scooby snacks, you know? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Zoinks. Right. And uh, I guess I didn't realize he wanted to just sleep. So, uh, but, uh, you know, so we sat there and talked for a little bit, and then... Uh, they came with the drink service and stuff, and I'm just sitting there sipping on my Coke or whatever, and all of a sudden I hear this rattling, and it just wouldn't stop. And I look over at Rob, and he can't get whatever the cookies or whatever open. And so, and this guy across the aisle is doing this, staring at him like, what is going on over there? So I quick grab him, rip him open, and hand him back, (laughs) hoping this guy won't keep looking over at him like he's a freak show. But, uh... And then after we got off the plane, we got a car rental we'll get together and then went to, I think we went to Old Country Buffet and had lunch together and then headed to the building. Well, there you go, from Old Country. But I, I kind of had to take care of him at the restaurant, too. Yeah. But, ah. you know. Well, you know, it's, it, wrestling's an interesting world because the people that you become closest with and you have the most respect for are often the people that you allow to beat you up the worst and you have that common respect of and that trust of, all right, I'm going to go out there and just leave it in the ring and whatever happens, happens. And that's kind of the story of you and Rob where every time the physicality grew and grew and grew. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why people remember well, that feud so well. I heard you saying earlier, like, like every match was different. We, I, did, I don't like doing the same match every time because that's when I feel you get lazy and complacent and that's when something bad could happen if you're just like lackadaisical out there, you know. But, and then a lot of people say, well, they did the same spots every match. Well, if they really paid close attention, what we were, the story we were trying to tell is we, uh, since it was like, you know, a double babyface match, and uh, we were trying to, the next match, we'd try and tell the story of we got a little smartened up to what the other guy's moves were the last match, so we just kind of incorporated into the next time. If we did the same spot, we just adjusted it a little and made it a little different. So it's a little bit of throwback to what happened before, but right. you're remixing it. Right. So with you and Rob, how much was there an expectation of, I'm going in to get hurt, and I know it's just going to be a war? Oh, you never want to go in and get hurt. You know, you got to get up and go to work the next day. So. But you guys got hurt a lot, and there was a lot well, of bringing to each other. We played rough. <laughs> you know, it seemed for a while there, I mean, I don't, Back then, I don't know if, you know, there wasn't social media and stuff, so, and a lot of the fans don't realize, Rob and I were, like, married for a year and a half. We were wrestling every house show around the loop. We were doing, you know, three-show loop, three-day loops. So we wrestled a lot. But, you know, you never want to go out there, uh, you know, thinking you're going to get hurt or you want to, you know, you want to go out there and be safe because you got to do it again. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.